Okay, today we're going to talk about quick change gearboxes and why they're a good idea if you're going to purchase a lathe. Um, it's a good idea to buy a lathe that's got a quick change gearbox. Doesn't matter how rudimentary it is, whether it's got 10 speeds or 3 speeds, it's going to be a hell of a lot better to use that lathe than a lathe that hasn't got a quick change gearbox. Okay, small lathes, um, quick change gearboxes generally aren't fitted on the really small ones because um, generally there's not a lot of space um, and they're trying to keep them cheap. So they do without it. Um, so I could, that's excusable, but when you go up in size to a larger lathe, a medium size, size lathe, um, if it hasn't got a quick change gearbox, um, you're really missing out because um, it's a great feature. And in my uh, opinion, it's much more important to have a quick change gearbox than to ha have, say, a geared head. Now, one lathe in particular that is a glaring example of a big lathe that, that should have a quick change gearbox and doesn't is the uh, AL320G. Uh, I actually had that on my uh, um, short list when I was looking at lathes, and I was looking at it and I thought, hmm, you know, the great geared head and all that, and then it suddenly hits you, no quick change gearbox. What it means is <coughs> you're effectively stuck at cutting, uh, feeding your, your cutter at, at one speed. And invariably you're going to set that lathe up at the finest speed because you want to do a fine cut at the end of your job. So you're really stuck. Unless you want to change cogs in the headstock, every time you want to change the feed rate, you're stuffed. So that's the whole thing. That um, If you've got a lathe that hasn't got a quick change gearbox, you basically going to have to have it at one feed rate unless you want to uh, dive into the uh, gear train every so often and change, uh, change the cogs around to, uh, to uh, speed her up or slow her down. What it means at the end of the day is if you're doing a job, um, it won't do any better job having a quick change gearbox, it, but it will do it a hell of a lot faster because you can feed, do a really coarse cut, saying this, one, this one's only got a three speed box. That's all you need, it's got coarse, medium and it's got fine so you can go in deep and rip it off quickly with a coarse feed rate when you get close to spec bring it back to uh, medium and then fine finish on number three you can do it all just by twisting the knob you can't do that with a single feed um, gear, uh, it's a single feed lathe um, not without going in with the greasy old gear change and playing around with cogs and some people seem to think oh quick change gearbox you know, I'll only really use that for cutting um, Threads. Ask yourself, how often are you going to cut a thread compared to other use of the lathe? And it's actually rubbish. You don't have to have a quick change gearbox to cut threads. I mean, at the end of the day, you can still set up your, uh, your gear train for the once in a, while, once in a blue moon uh, gear cutting job just as easy as you can playing around with the quick change gearbox. As far as even the quick change gearbox, the odds are that the thread won't necessarily be in that set of... Uh, uh, ratio that the box has got anyway so you probably still have to go in and swap something around in the headstock to cut the threads you want. So at the end of the day quick change gearbox makes a big difference uh, much more important than uh, quick change uh, headstock spindle speed as far as I'm concerned the bigger lathes have got both which is great uh, the budget lathes um, generally you know, <laughs> it's one or the other and the small lathes, of course, they don't have a quick change gearbox generally. Yeah, little uh, 9 by 20s are good, they have one, and that's a good little lathe that gives you good range. I mean, it's, a, it's uh, the old, uh, old, small, quick, old Norton style box, does a good job, so it's great. So, yeah, you can't knock them. So, how much difference does it make in the feed speed? Well, I'll show you. At the moment, I'm turning up a, uh, an oil slinger shield for, uh, for the Shorblin, and I'm just doing it with a boring bar. Uh, this is. Uh, pretty hard steel so it can't go too uh, too fast but uh, too heavy with the cuts so I'm just using a light boring bar to the job and I'll show you in a couple of clips the difference in how fast you get the job done uh, by having a quick change gearbox I mean you can basically I mean, this has got to be opened up a hell of a lot I've got to take a lot of metal out of this to bring it out almost to outside diameter because it's only going to be a, a little oil slinger so that whole solid round stock, 90% of it's got to be machined away and it's a, it's, it's a lot of metal. So if you're doing that at you know, your fixed speed, your fine speed, you'll be there for days. Uh, whereas with a quick change gearbox, you put on your coarse speed and you do all the heavy cutting with that. And Anyway, I'll show you the speed difference just between 
the three ratios and uh, you can see how fast the cutter moves through the job. Okay, stay tuned. Okay, we're on the course's feed. I'll just show you the difference between coarse and fine. Once again, fine is what most people would be running a single speed lane on. So we'll run it through at course and you can see the uh, difference in the time it takes to do the job. 90% of this job will be done on the number one feed for good reason. <laughs> Okay, you can see how long that took, and uh, it was quite quick. Now we'll change to the final speed rate, which is what your single speed is probably going to be set at. And we'll do the pass again. So you can see the difference. It's a huge difference. So that means that if I was to run that cutter all day on the uh, on the fine feed, uh, the job's going to take forever. Whereas I can run the uh, the uh, the lathe on the coarse feed and, and do that job in a fraction of the time. So that's why I like lathes with uh, quick change gearboxes. Everybody's got their own, own opinion of, uh, of lathes, but it makes a big difference as you can see. And uh, if you want to get the job done quickly, you want to lay it with a quick change gearbox. And as I said, you only need three speeds really. Uh, even two would be good enough, just coarse and, and fine. But if you're going to be stuck on one speed uh, and it's fine, you're going to be there all day. So there you go, something to think about. Um, anybody buying a, a lathe that has the option of getting a quick change gearbox in that particular size of lathe, definitely go for quick change gearbox. Okay, see you later.